higher power, and uh, they're able to really do a great job of spacing the court because of their ability to uh, shoot, uh, not for one player or two players, but several players. Uh, we let Dawkins uh, out of our sight and lost him uh, several times in the first half, and, and uh, he was able to give Duke uh, some good separation after the first 20 minutes. And, uh, you know, we fought and battled and uh, did our best to close the gap. Uh, we competed hard, but uh, again, uh, with the separation that they were able to achieve in the first half uh, uh, through some some putbacks off the offensive glass and Dawkins not in some shots. Some were uncontested where we lost them and some were really tough shots. So um, we move on. And, um, questions? Three times in the first half, you called timeouts after Dawkins had hit the shot. Were those the situations where you lost him and you were trying to hammer home? Yeah, uh, we went. Uh, we were in a. Uh, we went uh, really running them and chasing them off the screens uh, like we wanted to. We were allowing him to go either side instead of forcing him to go off one particular side to give us defensively uh, some kind of advantage because they do a good job. Of, Running hard off those screens and setting screens, and, and to 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 make them go off one side as opposed to either side um, is what you need to do. And also, in, when we were in the zone, uh, you know, we we lost a couple of times, and that's that wasn't our game plan going in. And, um, you know, again, that's two or three three pointers that uh, uh, were uncontested in those kind of situations, and we combine that again with some offensive putbacks and they got the separation that they needed. Jeff, with their 64% from the field in the second half, you mentioned their firepower, but what were the difficulties on your part of getting stops? Well, they we also made some tough shots. I mean, you know, bank one in and they're, 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 they, 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 they've, got, they've got some really good players that can make shots, and to be quite frank with you, and, and we went under those handoffs at times. Uh, again, some defensive mistakes. You can't go under those handoffs, and that gives them air space. So, yeah, a couple of some defensive breakdowns combined with some really good players making some shots. And, and uh, you know, there's the difference. Could you talk to us about the challenge of getting on a plane now tonight? You're leaving tonight, right? You're going to Boston. Right You've here basically 36 hours. Can you talk about that, please? Give me some. It's, it's part of the deal, and uh, I, we're going to get there before Boston College does. Uh, unless, you know, unless the pilot is a Boston College guy. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, I mean, you know, we're going to get there, and, and they're, they're playing. A tough opponent on the road tonight, too, so uh, no advantage there for either team. I'm sure you probably already spoke on this, and I'll just be late, but uh, could you just speak on the first half three-point shooting from uh, Dawkins and just how he got that rhythm they kept going to him, going to him, that pretty much gave him the lead there? I have to say this again. No, I'm just kidding. I, again, you know, first of all, he made some tough shots. You know, I, he's a good player. Okay, he can make shots. Coupled with the fact that when he's running off, Either screen on baseline, we, we're, we're just chasing them instead of making them go off one side or the other side so we have an opportunity to have a chance to defend them. And then when we went to the zone, we lost them. And that wasn't our game plan. And those are some of the reasons I call those timeouts. Um, plain and simple. Is there anything that you did like about this team as far as that? Yeah, I liked a lot of things. You know, we competed, we battled, we fought. Uh, we got some good shot opportunities ourselves. We didn't make them. Uh, uh, you know, again, uh, Duke has a lot of firepower, and and uh, they were able to display that and use that tonight. Uh, uh, you know, when Dawkins uh, wasn't making shots, other guys were making tough shots too. So give them a lot of credit, and, and uh, we move on, and our team fought. And, uh, yeah, we can build on. What did CJ do well for you that? Um, what do you like about his game tonight? You know, he was just very efficient. I mean, six or eight from the floor and get to the free throw line. He shot the ball extremely well. Uh, and, you know, he's, uh, he can 
competed out there, and um, this was very efficient. Very efficient, very strong, show, displayed good, good leadership to our younger players. And were you pleased with the way uh, Travis responded uh, from Saturday? Yeah, I'm pleased with the way the whole team had, uh, uh, turned it around from Saturday in terms of uh, their competitiveness and, and the way they played and stuck together. Tony, you seem like he was playing with a little bit more pressure tonight, too. Did you kind of notice that in his hands now? Yes. What are some of the steps you think you'll have to take to play well on Saturday? Maybe. What are some things you have to clean up, Jeff? Well, defensively, you know, we need to be a little bit more solid guarding the ball and, and knowing that we can't go under on handoffs, for example, and we have to do a better job of getting through screens. We have to do a better job of not giving teams second chance opportunities. I mean, you know, Duke got 18 points off the offensive glass. I mean, you know, we can talk about the three-point shooting and this and that, but you have to finish possessions. And we didn't finish possessions on the defensive end. Um, I mean, you just you, you just take you just cut that in half. So you know, we can talk about the tough shots that they made and that we didn't we you know lost a guy here and there, but the bottom line is you got to finish possessions defensively. Plain and simple. I think in the first, right out of the gate, in the first six or seven minutes of the game, they had seven or eight points off the offensive glass. I remember one time that right in front of our bench where we did a really good job defensively, um, and then they got an offensive rebound, and and and, and, and Rusty, Rusty said it before I could say it. He said, watch, they're going to hit a three here. And they did. And it was Dawkins who nailed a three. Instead of us going down, maybe getting it, Three ourselves, they come, you know, we didn't finish the possession. So that's what we got to do. Do a better job of rebounding. Plain and simple. Other questions? Yes? Thanks, guys. Thank you.